sponsored by Rainbow National Dance Competition. Hey, Car TV. I'm Chris Gallia from Jesse. Having a good time over here. Hope you're having fun too. Hi, I'm Amanda Campo. I'm 13 years old. I'm from San Diego, California, and I go to the Element Dance Center. I like Lyrical because you can express yourself in your movements, and it's pretty cool. I usually pray, eat a lot of candy, and I call my mom right before I go on because she lives in Georgia. Knowing that there's people there to watch me and that I have a lot of supporters really motivates me. Paula Van Oppen is my idol because I've been looking up to her since I was little and she's an amazing dancer. I love Oreos, I have a fish named Bob, I'm super, super hyper, I am in love with mac and cheese, and I love Justin Bieber. And you're watching Car TV. Hi, my name is Tiffany Schlater. I'm the Elite Company Director at the Judy Dallemeyer Studio of Dance in Columbus, Ohio. This is my competition tip of the week for Car TV. My competition tip of the week for you tappers are paddle turns. For the first exercise, we're going to execute a paddle turn for the beginner tapper. You'll start in a plie parallel position, stomach nice and tight. Four sounds, starting with a spank, dig, heel, heel, spank, dig, heel, heel. You'll spot to the back first, and you'll finish the turn by spotting to the front. Make sure you utilize your spot, stay in plie deep into the floor, making a nice articulate sound, and make all four of your sounds. For the second exercise, we'll take the same basic paddle turn, add more tap sounds to it, making it an intermediate advanced tap turn. You'll start in the same parallel plie position. We'll start with a left heel drop, your basic paddle turn, heel, heel, adding a spank dig heel for lap to finish it off. Spank heel, dig heel, for lap. You'll start this turn by spotting to the back and finish by spotting to the front. With this advanced tap turn, make sure that you articulate all 11 sounds, and if you find that you're falling out of the last part of the turn, really hold your center and utilize your plie. Again, my name is Tiffany Schlater, and this is my competition tip for you here on CAR TV. Hello, CAR TV. It is Ryan Potter from Nickelodeon Super Ninjas. What's up? I am Brian Friedman and I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. I started dancing actually because my mother was a dancer and she never put me into dance. It was something that I kind of found myself. I would watch her teach. She was teaching at a community college at the time in Scottsdale and I would sit in the back of her classes and try to copy stuff and eventually she judged a dance competition and I went and watched that competition and there were some kids dancing and they danced to Sing 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 and I remember they were in black and white. It was sort of a little faux tuxedo thing and they had bowler hats on and at that time I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I came from a studio that was all about we're gonna go out there and have fun and if we didn't get a first place we didn't get a first place but did you enjoy yourself on stage um, and I think that that being instilled in me made me love the competition scene because I was able to go and I was able to watch other studios and appreciate when they were good and we were the type of studio that would go and talk to the other kids and we made lifelong friends this new generation, if they could instill that, competition is a very beneficial place to be and it's something that can really help you out in the future. I think my biggest inspiration besides actually my mom getting me into dance uh, was when I started to come out to LA and take classes and teachers in that day that inspired me were uh, Jackie Slight, um, Randy Allaire, Michael Rooney, I started taking from Marguerite Derricks and I would say that she probably kicked my butt more than anyone else around. Uh, once I started taking her class it was sort of a religion for me and it made me want to be a perfect dancer which I think really stuck with me and it helps me now with my choreography. Everything that I do has to be 100% and it has to be right. My first audition I ever did was for Newsies, uh, the Disney movie and 
I was at a dance competition in Arizona, and I think it was Dupre. Um, I was competing, and I got the call for the audition, and my mom and I had to fly out the next morning, and I actually got the flu the night before, and it was at the dance competition. I was running off after doing performances, and I was throwing up in the bathroom, and then we had to get on the flight, and I think it was actually nerves. I don't think it was the flu. I think I was just sick to my stomach knowing that this was possibly my dream that was going to be realized and we got out here to LA and there were hundreds of people there at the audition everyone was dressed up like newsboys and I was just so naive and green but I think that the fact that I was so naive and green and hungry uh, and ambitious was one of the reasons why I booked the part. The next step for me is to direct a film. I want to direct a musical. That was huge for me as a kid to watch musicals. That's what made me want to dance. Okay, five things that people don't know about me. I think, uh, number one, I can't make up my mind, ever. Um, which is gonna make these questions really difficult. I can't choose a favorite color, I can't choose a favorite movie, book, song, food, anything. Uh, I think it has to do with being a Gemini. So that's the first thing, I can't make up my mind. I love food, I love to cook. That's. Uh, part of my life that I think um, if I didn't dance, I would be like 600 pounds um, because I love to eat. Um, number three, I'm obsessive compulsive. Everything is in its place at all times. Uh, everything has to be done in a perfect way. I eat my food a perfect way. Um, if something on a table is at the wrong angle, I notice it and I have to move it. So I've got issues. I think that's number three, I have issues. I love dogs. <laughs> dogs are my favorite thing in the world. I love my dogs. Um, I actually love anyone's dogs. I think I love dogs more than people. I'm a fitness fanatic. Um, I love to hike. I love to do Pilates, yoga, anything where I can be active and sweating. That's, that's where I'm most happy. Curtis here with Dance Car News. This past weekend, Kids Artistic Review traveled to Lynn, Massachusetts, Little Rock, Arkansas, Long Island, New York, and Omaha, Nebraska. I'm excited to announce the highest scoring routine and elite groups and lines, plus the FDC People's Choice Award winner from each regional competition. Let's get to it. Starting off in Lynn, Massachusetts, the highest scoring routine and elite groups and lines is act number 313, set fire to the rain from Elite Academy of Dance. FDC People's Choice Award winner is act number 82, Honor from Express Dance and Acrobatics. Next, we are headed to Little Rock, Arkansas. The highest scoring routine in Elite Groups and Lines is act number 455, To Make You Feel My Love from Infinity Performing Arts Center. FDC People's Choice Award winner is act number 447, Lower's Daughter from Infinity Performing Arts Center. Off to Long Island, New York, the highest scoring routine in Elite Groups and Lines is act number 214, can't Buy Me Love from Kovac Studio of Dance. FDC People's Choice Award winner is act number 233, The Help from Jam Dance. And now on to Omaha, Nebraska. The highest scoring routine in elite groups and lines is act number 627, Skyscraper from Kitty Lee Dance Studio. FDC People's Choice Award winner is act number 507, Lost in Your Eyes from Nebraska Dance Company. Congratulations to all the winners. Special announcement from our sister competition. Rainbow National Dance Competition 2011 a Video of the Year champions received a positive documentary style promo for their studio. Rainbow sent a camera crew to each studio and interviewed their dancers, teachers, directors, and owners, plus threw a pizza party for all the dancers. A fun and exciting experience for everyone, plus a great promotional tool and amazing way to show the world how awesome your studio is. Here are the 2011 a Video of the Year champions. Stars of Tomorrow, Lollipop from Center Stage Dance Studios, Aspire Dance Company, and Bloomingdale, Illinois. Rising Stars, Mirror Mirror from Kim Jansen School of Dance in Appleton, Wisconsin. Elite Stars, Stepsisters from Adaz Dance Center in Pomona, California. A huge congratulations to the champions. Go to RainbowDance.com to view the promos. Next time you're at Rainbow, your studio has an opportunity to be the next Video of the Year champions in 2012. Good luck! This is CAR's 30th anniversary and we have exciting new stuff in store for national finals this summer. 
Make sure to follow Dance Car on Facebook, and when you go on Twitter, follow us at Dance Car and hashtag CarTV. Leave comments below and let us know what you think. Again, I'm Madison Curtis, and thank you for watching Dance Car News. Have fun dancing, and see you here next week on CarTV. XL.